I'm uh, Corporal Swan, retired military policeman from the Lake Manitoba First Nation, Anishinaabe. With that, I will start this with a uh, prayer in the language as I move forward. Turn the machine stuff. Zemandu, <laughs> Kikashkitu <laughs> All my relations, thank you very much for coming out here today. We are gathered here on Treaty 1 territory, homeland of the Ishnabeg Nation, Nehio's Dene peoples. This is the homeland of the Inuit peoples as well here in Manitoba, and we must never ever forget that we all live here together. We are here today because we wish to talk about how Winnipeg is the home to thousands of military veterans who served our nation honorably and who are an important part of our city. So let's show them what we mean and what they mean to us. We will be implementing several measures with the goal of helping military veterans in need and honor all veterans living in the city, including housing for homeless veterans, free access to city services, and establishing an Afghan Mission Memorial Park. The Canadian Armed Forces have been critical in offering aid to our city in times of need. They have served willingly throughout Manitoba during the COVID-19 pandemic and have fought bravely as part of the Afghanistan mission. To serve the community, service to the nation are the highest ideals and we need to celebrate that more often in Canada and in Winnipeg. A home for veterans experiencing homelessness. According to Homes for Heroes, there are approximately 160 veterans living on the streets of Winnipeg, living in our city, in bus shelters, in parks, in alleyways. Last May, a project was announced to build tw 20 tiny homes. While a good start, we need to do more for those who have done so much for us. This is part of the homelessness and housing plan announced earlier this week. And we will have the city work with Veterans Affairs Canada, housing groups like Home for Heroes, and the Royal Canadian Legion to build multi-story veterans residences with services. As part of this process, the city would identify vacant lots or parking lots which, that it owns which could be used for this development. Every veteran should feel a sense of belonging to our community and know that they are an integral and important part of us. City services for veterans. As mayor, I would work with council to bring in several measures that would give free access to city services. In particular, ensuring that veterans can access pools and fitness centers free of charge. Ensuring that veterans can ride our transit system for free as well and free parking on metered city streets and pay parking lots across the city. We need to remember to say thank you to our veterans, show that they are an important part of our city and that their service will never, ever be forgotten. And a Memorial Afghanistan Park. More than 40,000 
members of the Canadian Armed Forces in the CAF is served in Afghanistan as part of the NATO International Security Assistance Force, ISAF, from 2001 to 2014, making this the largest Canadian military deployment since the Second World War. Sadly, 159 Canadians, our comrades, died in Afghanistan, including seven Manitobans. To recognize the gallant service of these fallen soldiers, that is, as mayor, I will personally ensure that we as a city create the Afghanistan Memorial, Mission Memorial Park and plant 159 trees for each of the Canadian soldiers, airmen and sailors who died in service of our nation to honor their memory. The city, working with the province and federal government, will also build a memorial to those who died during the Afghanistan war so that all veterans and their families have a permanent place to gather in Western Canada. Also, we will honor each of the seven Manitobans who paid the ultimate price by naming new streets after those who sacrificed so much and who paid the ultimate price. Let us never forget their sacrifice. We must preserve their memory so that the families of the soldiers are honored and their memory lives forever. Having served with the Canadian Armed Forces for 27 years, I understand what it means to have the privilege, but also to the challenges there are in serving one's nation. Veterans of all ages deserve our respect. And while Canadians pause on Remembrance Day, we should also honor the women and the men who have served not only on one day, but on 365 days. These actions that we have proposed are an opportunity for our city to demonstrate our nobility, that we are a noble city, and so that we never forget. Oh.